All right, just to show you, I'm not making up this this gardening business is not a new project for me. Uh, these are my my pepper plants. They uh, originally started. I mean, I got quite a few here on the back porch. Uh, I got them, you know, a little spread out, trying to keep them out in the sun. Originally, they started all of them on my uh, front porch. They weren't always this big. Uh, and of course the, the size of the pots definitely is a factor. Uh, don't buy the huge ridiculous pots because they're impossible to move. Once you get dirt and water in them, man, they're pretty killer. But yeah, so this is uh, Tabasco peppers. That's the, the sauce you get in the, the salsa you get in the, the vinegar sauce. Uh, we got some red cherry peppers. You see a few of them. They look like little tomatoes. They're not really spicy. The Tabasco ones, man, they, they got more spice for their size than, than you would expect. Uh, the habanero death they're not uh, they're not turning colors yet they'd be uh, orange this particular kind but uh, man one of these uh, one of these about do you in um, I think this this is most uh, most applicable to anybody who wants to grow hot peppers get the just get the jalapenos you get them uh, get the jumbo uh, species these are called La Bamba um, and they they eventually do turn red I'm kind of was kind of waiting for this guy to get fully he's got some some shade on him but you know I don't know if that's just from the sun because it's been a week now since he started to turn red uh, but yeah don't leave them till they're mush pick them when they start to change colors or get moderately changed colors now if you don't like them spicy the green ones aren't as hot as the red ones so pick them early um, when you pick them the plant flowers more so you get more peppers so for, the more you pick them the more you get uh, so for like the habaneros, I just let them go until they're fully orange because I don't need too many of them and they're death hot anyway. Now the green ones aren't that hot. Maybe I should pick them more. Um, man, this guy is some kind of bell pepper. He's been sick every day since he was a little little thing. Uh, he's grown one pepper ever. Um, I keep blasting him with all kinds of different stuffs. Uh, he's got, uh, well, let's see around here, this happens all the time. There's one. It's white, called white flies. So this this white powdery residue is uh, some kind of fly shit. Not not joking here. Uh, some kind of fly shit. Um, eggs and and if you put up under a 60x loop magnifier, you can see the little bugs. You'll notice uh, is a it's kind of like when you shake the plant. You won't be able to see it on the camera, unfortunately. But you'll see like a dust come off. But it's not that stuff. It's actually the flies flying away. Um, and they get on they get on all the pepper plants this kind of climate so I just hit them with the uh, the safer soap it's a plant safe brand safer is the brand plant safe soap that you just hand, by hand flip each leaf over and spray and knock all the crud off wash away the eggs and it decreases their uh, surplus population so to speak it doesn't really get rid of them I don't think it even kills them honestly it claims to now this guy or gals or, or a crowd here, I planted a whole bunch of old pepper seeds. Just kept throwing them in the same pot, throwing them in the same pot. Didn't see anything grow, didn't see anything grow. And then one day, man, there's like, I don't even know, dozens of stems coming out. So is it one plant? Is it every seed in the pepper sprouted? I think. Um, and that when they're short and leafy and green like this, they really get the white flies. I need to, to cut them up, put them in some separate pots maybe try to divide them by species of pepper when they actually start to bloom. Now, pepper plants are funny, you'll get hybrids. So, all these peppers over here have probably been fertilized by another plant. Well, unless they're fertilized by the same plant. I don't know if they uh, do that uh, incestual plant relationship thing, but... Um, but yeah, so you can get peppers that are fertilized by a different kind of pepper, but it doesn't really change, change them. They, they stay the same as their parent plant until you plant them, and then the new plant will be some hybrid of the parents. So, uh, yep, yep, I got the uh, the Christmas cactus over here. This guy's great for gifts. You just chop a chunk of them off and stick them in a pot and a little bit of prayer and water, you get another Christmas cactus. Um, they grow out of control around here because they just water and heat. Uh, this uh, lily, lily, orchid, orchid, that's an orchid. Um, Every now and then he gets a real tall stem and has a big nice flower. And this is purple basil. Um, so he's flowering right now actually, which is probably somewhat interesting. But uh, yeah, so purple basil is like basil, but he turns purple. 
and you get the young, uh, the young purple leaves. You got more flavor or something. It's, I don't know. It's like basil, but it makes your tongue go numb. Maybe I shouldn't eat the leaves, but yeah. So pepper plants, and of course, over here got the water barrels. Maybe I'll have to do a separate video on on the water barrel system. I, I'll get to that. But yeah, you know, didn't just uh, didn't just invent this this. Uh, gardening business over here as a as an excuse I've been doing this for years and I thought well gee I should go whole hog and see if I can learn a thing or two and if I get something useful out of it maybe I'll start selling uh, you know I got enough peppers here that I can pickle one one jar of a, a specific kind so you know a jar of Tabasco peppers or a jar of oh I got habaneros and jalapenos man now I haven't had this cherry this many cherry peppers before um, I, I guess I didn't have them in the right sunlight. Some, sometimes they like the dark, sometimes they like the light. So, 